the quick project I picked up, what, $60 a while ago. And the whole idea was just make a simple mod for having independent suspension on the front end of one of these instead of the split swing arm. And the idea was, since these chassis were based off of the Tamiya P or Pajero or however it's called back in the 80s, that all they did was, well, raise the chassis up higher. So the original mounts for the A-arms are still here in the front. And if we can see back behind where the servo's at, we can't really at the moment, but there's still a hole there for another one of these A-arms to fit. Roughly here, if you will. And from experience from just history of looking into the old RCs and stuff, there was a, what was it, a World Champions Racing hot or a Hornet with a hot shot rear gearbox on it. And all they did was they took one of these arms, cut it off, added a pillow ball mount, and it created their lower A arm. All I'm going to do is take another one of these and make it my upper A arm. And you see where I'm going with this. Otherwise, this is a stock lunchbox, or will be a stock Tamiya Midnight Pumpkin. I may improve a few things on it, but it's just supposed to be a look like a stock, or at least a close to stock Midnight Pumpkin after everything's done. Anyways, see you guys soon. Still need to make the other turn buckle that will match this side. And for whatever reason, my servo is not going to turn at the same rate, even though it's fastened into the middle of the bell crank. It's an issue that probably is related to the servo since it's where all the slop is coming from. So, as it is, it's good enough to post for sale, but I wanted to get this video out before it goes. Later. Here's a Tamiya Midnight Pumpkin with the IFS setup and a few other small things. So. Just a shorter shock shaft on the traditional setup that the old A-arm had with a Traxxas pillow ball on the end. Offset just because of how the original upper A-arms were closer together on the chassis. So that fixes the camber issue. And then a set of the same A-arm in the original Tamiya Midnight Pumpkin and lunchbox position with a spacer that hopefully doesn't look too bad. It can be optional depending on how you guys like set yours up just off of this design and keeps any like positive camber gain from happening. I actually have a little bit of camber gain or a negative camber so it helps some. It just, I wish I had a little more just for stability but as it is, it's it's worked out pretty well. I've drove this once so far, and everything went honestly much better than expected. I couldn't get the thing to flip over nearly as easy as a stock one. And just a quick video uh, or picture, if I can get it. There we go. There. It's not pretty, but I just may have spare parts. It's a third link that centers the axle for the rear. In the middle of the travel here that way it can still flex up or how i say it can flex like this or this without actually having any issue with the axle doing any weird rotation 